Welcome to the short video about wind energy in North Carolina. It's July 2020 and I am Brent Somerville. I teach in the Sustainable Technology Program at Appalachian State. and I suppose this is what I look like to my students now, um, but in my favorite environment is hands-on work with wind turbines. They're very dynamic and exciting. Let's start with App State's campus. Now in 2009 we installed this Northwind 100 a 100 kilowatt small wind turbine made in Vermont. Uh, this project was funded by student fees. They formed the ASU Renewable Energy Initiative in 2004 and used the funds to install this turbine in 2009. So we love seeing it spinning on top of the hill. Here you'll see it yawing around next as the wind speed uh, changes direction it follows the wind that's called yawing and of course the blades turn in response to the flowing wind to make electricity it feeds right onto our campus parked on top of the highest point on campus it is the flagship of sustainability efforts for the campus and the university and we would love for you to see it in person sometimes so if you ever find yourself in Boone drive up there and see it or while you're in town you can go to Beach Mountain and see about half a dozen small wind turbines on this windy ridge we do testing and demonstration of this technology and as you can see we love having visitors there as well um, it's a fun sight on your way across the United North Carolina you may see small turbines at schools in the west and in the east we have about a dozen turbines positioned on school campuses they don't fully power the school of course but they do contribute some electricity but mainly they show uh, the technology to the students wind is a thing and it's also a career path because a lot of our clean energy will be coming from wind and solar uh, over the next few decades and so it's an opportunity for you to move into that field in your travels you may see um, something weird like that blade headed to a wind farm now wind farm is a collection of large wind turbines and North Carolina's only wind farm is way up in this northeast corner of North Carolina near Elizabeth City is called Amazon Wind Farm US East Boone's way over here in the mountains of course uh, but as you travel east you go through Winston-Salem and Greensboro Durham Chapel Hill Raleigh and as you're making your way toward the Outer Banks veer left sometime and head toward Elizabeth City where you'll see this 208 megawatt project um, it's positioned in this area locally called the desert it's a portion of the Great Dismal Swamp that was converted to farmland and these large Gamesa 2 megawatt wind turbines are positioned on these farmers land they, they continue to farm but they also get lease payments for hosting these this wind farm on their property so they're happy the the towers 93 meters tall and the blades sweep a circle with a hundred and thirteen meter diameter so they're some of the tallest and largest wind turbines in the country um, as you go down highway 17 they're easy to see they cover a large area of this part of North Carolina and you can see them spinning slowly on the horizon but um, if you road trip across the country um, you'll definitely see wind farms we have uh, 80,000 or 90,000 megawatts of wind farms running in the country right now over 65,000 large wind turbines and a lot of them are in this windy interior from Texas up to the Dakotas but um, they're fun to drive up close to and see and listen to the wind creates lift as it blows across these views these huge long blades uh, that lift turns the rotor which turns the generator making electricity and of course they're positioned on tall towers to access the smooth strong winds blowing over the land um, so homegrown clean energy in North Carolina looks like this or it's at schools or even at some homes and farms but what's next is offshore wind um, 
currently we only have one offshore wind project in the United States and it's called Block Island uh, wind farm and it's up in Rhode Island and next for North Carolina will be that large blue area off the Outer Banks near Kitty Hawk uh, where Auburn Grid Renewables will install uh, turbines about 27 nautical miles offshore you won't probably won't be able to see these big beautiful robots embedded in the seabed and creating local clean energy but uh, one day you'll get out there on a boat and have a close look I'm sure anyway thanks for your time and I look forward to all your questions